tomorrow is Monday. You need to be starting on that new hobby tomorrow. You need to go down to the gym. You need to get your gym membership tomorrow. I'm not saying don't process your emotions. Let that shit out. Do your grieving. But at the same time, like I said, do not look to them for the answers. The answers that you're looking for lie in yourself. And like I said, stop staring at their life. Stop dealing with their emotions that they gave you. Because a lot of y'all ain't even dealing with y'all's own emotions. Y'all are dealing with their emotions and it's dragging you down. And like I said, I've been there. That's how I know to tell y'all these things. I've been there. When I went through my shit, I didn't ask her why. I didn't ask her how could you. You know what I'm saying? Like, after the discard. You know, when we're going through our stuff, of course, you're going to ask those questions. But after I discarded her, I didn't ask her why. Because I knew whatever answer that I got from her, it wasn't going to change anything that she did. If somebody cheated on you 11 times and they told you why, would that take back them cheating on you 11 times? Would that make you feel better of any of those times? If somebody lied to you and they told you why they lied to you, would it make you feel better? Not really. So you got to think about this stuff when you're asking them, well, why did you cheat? Or why didn't you want me? Or why didn't... If somebody really gave you the answer to why they didn't want you, would it make you feel any better about them not wanting you? The fact that they don't want you should tell you everything that you need to know. The fact that they cheated, it, I don't care why you cheated, you cheated and I need to go. I need to figure myself out. I don't need to know why you lied to me. The fact is you lied to me. I don't need to know why you have other supply. The fact is that you have other supply. So y'all keep looking for reasons to validate still talking to them, still staying with them, still communicating with them. A lot of y'all have kids with them and I know y'all been asking about a video for that for a while and I'm gonna get to it, just bear with me. But a lot of y'all, if you don't have kids with them, there's no excuse not to go no contact other than your emotions. So you have to get around your emotions you have to get around your ego you have to get around your pride that makes you want to continue dealing with these individuals or make you feel like y'all have unfinished business because y'all don't the disrespect is all the closure you need i said that in another video i'm gonna say it again the disrespect is all the closure you need what else can they possibly tell you that's gonna make you feel anything any better about what they've done? I would hope nothing. A lot of y'all are validating how they treated you by looking for any reason. Oh, well, they were an alcoholic. So? Oh, well, they were, you know, they had a bad childhood. Shit, I had a, a crazy childhood. I'm not around narking motherfuckers either. And a lot of y'all, I see y'all asking, well, what if this person didn't get diagnosed with, uh, you know, NPD or, you know, uh, whatever. Does them getting diagnosed change how they've been treating you? I don't give a shit if they've been diagnosed or not. Toxic is toxic understand that a lot of y'all are like well they haven't been diagnosed so how do we know whether to treat them as a narcissist or not if they're treating you like shit i don't care if they're a narcissist a fucking penguin a dragon whatever you want to describe them as if they're mistreating you you still need to treat them as such to me no contact is not just for narcissists no contact is for toxic-ass partners, ain't-shit-ass friends, 
and ain't shit ass family members as well. No contact ain't just for narcissists. A lot of y'all need to stop giving people leeway to treat you like shit just because they ain't this or that or just because they are this or that. I don't care who you are. If you a toxic ass family member, I don't give a fuck if we first cousins, third cousins, uh, twice removed or cousins by marriage. If you are a toxic family member, deuces. If you are a toxic homeboy, homegirl, whatever, deuces. If you are a narcissist, if I get any inclination in your conversation that you are a narcissist, deuces. Y'all got to stop giving everybody the benefit of the doubt just because y'all got history or y'all want them around. There are certain seasons in your life where God is going to require you to want to, he's going to require it to be nothing but you and him. It's called the wilderness season. That's when you probably damn near lose everything, all your friends or whatever the case is. That's because your calling is higher than your circumstances. And you need to be by yourself so you can see things a lot clearer. A lot of y'all are scared to be by yourself and you need to do the work to figure out why. But stop validating somebody treating you like shit. I don't care if they've been diagnosed. Have my ex narc been diagnosed? Fuck no. I diagnosed that motherfucker on my own because I didn't like the way she was treating me and I wasn't finna take it and I wasn't finna deal with it. I don't give a fuck about no goddamn diagnosis. You shouldn't either because I'm gonna tell you one thing. How many narcs do you know in your life that have voluntarily went to go get diagnosed? I'll wait. So you gonna let somebody treat you like shit until they finally decide to go get diagnosed. Let me know how that go. That's how y'all end up dealing with these motherfuckers for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And this is no disrespect to those who have been doing that because sometimes y'all just don't know. But the thing is, don't let terminology make you a slave. Don't let a diagnosis make you a slave. Just because they ain't been diagnosed don't mean you need to stick around for that verdict. If they are treating you badly... I don't care if they're narcissists or not, you shouldn't either. You don't deserve to be treated badly by anybody. Don't let anybody treat you poorly. Because diagnosis or not, nine times out of 10, they ass is a narcissist. I don't care about no diagnose. diagnosis. You mean to tell me if you got a cold, if you're very sick, and you go to the doctor and they say you're not very sick, you gonna continue, you know, going on about your day or you gonna go, you gonna go do something about it. Nah, something else going on. I need to go see another doctor. Nah. Sometimes you gotta take manage, uh, matters into your own hands. Don't wait on no goddamn diagnosis because if you wait on a diagnosis, you gonna wait for heartbreak and it's on its way. Don't do that. Stop looking for answers in these people. Stop giving these people the benefit of the doubt. Stop looking for validation through them. Validate your own pain. You know what the fuck you went through. Do you hear me? You know what you went through. Your emotions know what you went through. Your mind knows what you went through. And most importantly, your fucking heart knows what you went through. You don't need a fucking doctor to tell you that. You don't need the motherfucker that hurt you to tell you that. You know. You done been in your bedroom crying at night because of this jackass. You done been in your car crying because of this jackass. You done been in traffic crying because of this jackass. You done thought about ending your fucking life because of this jackass. That is all the fucking proof you need. You don't need no jackass with glasses on and a fucking coat and a fucking notebook to tell you that that person hurt you. Do you get that? Because if you wait around, you give that motherfucker the benefit of the doubt, they will fucking destroy you in the worst way. Not physically, but spiritually, 
mentally and emotionally, they will tear you a fucking part waiting. Think about it. Ask yourself, what are you really waiting for? 